Welcome to Wallatopia. We appreciate you being here. Please go to wallatopia.info to register. You won't regret it. And remember, Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets, especially since we purchase all the wallets we review. We're never bought. Now today, I'm going to take you through my long-term carry experience with the Arox Gravity Wallet. But before we get into my general likes, assessments, and dislikes, uh, let's do a quick review of the features of the Arox Gravity. A full review of this wallet can be found uh, at the top here of the screen if you want to look. But if, as we look at this wallet in the exterior, there are no features, which is fine. If we open it up, we immediately have two card slots here on the left-hand side, as well as a pull tab section for cards that you use less often in here. And you can just grab that, pull them out, and that's what you have. On the right-hand side, we have two card slots as well. Behind this back card, we actually have a SIM slot as well as a tool slot for the pin that you would use to remove your SIM card. And behind it, we actually have a cash area. Fold it over once for US currency and actually foreign currency works uh, fine there as well. And that is a quick review of the features of the Arox Gravity Wallet. When I reviewed this wallet originally, I liked the additional features provided. They w went out of their way to take the base design of their competitor and then you know improve upon it. And one of those was this SIM uh, card slot they had in here and the tool area. One of the things that's interesting about that is with the eSIM coming up, meaning that it'll all be interior to your phone, eventually I think this will go away, which will be a good thing. The leather is very capable. Arock wallets always feel sturdy and very strong. That comes at the expense of its profile. And also exactly the width of this thing is too. And the profile is a lot larger than a lot of its competitors. Made in Pakistan using responsibly sourced full grain leather from Southeast Asia, the construction on this is excellent. Let's take a look. As you can tell, we've got reinforced edges where we've got uh, additional sewing done here and that really helps prevent it from tearing apart accidentally uh, over time. I, I really like this this uh, great feature here where they've put uh, some sewing in here to make sure that when the cards go in that they really go in snug and they don't come out and and overall it, it really is well made and should last a long time. Now for my likes. The extra features provided are a good match for markets who have SIM swapping or coin requirements because there is that small little pocket down in here. I forgot to mention that, but it kind of gets in the way at times, but, it, but it's a neat little neat little pocket uh, it, because it really helps address a, a global market. The extra size, meaning this is larger than a slim sleeve from Bellroy, for example, that it's trying to emulate, but it does fit all foreign currencies, which is a nice complement to the overall features. The wall perception is that it's durable, the leather is cut thicker than competitors, and has a more natural feel to it. It's almost rough. But that really kind of speaks to longevity and the construction that's well done with this, as well as the stress points we pulled out. Now for my dislikes. While it's an advantage for some things, it is bigger. It's not as slim as you would think it would be for a traditional bifold wallet. So let's uh, look at it from a measurement perspective. I mean, we can see on here that uh, you know this is 4.2 inches by 3.1 inches, and that's okay. But I don't have a lot that I carry in here traditionally. And this is, you know, almost an inch. This is 0.9. And so it, it speaks to a few things. One is that I don't actually carry quite a bit, so that's not it. But that this is has a lot of leather involved with it. And with a lot of leather, of course, that creates bulk. And when you have bulk, it creates a lot more width, especially when you have uh, or a lot of uh, coins. If you carry coins as well as cards and cash in here. And there you go. More likes than dislikes, but if you prefer a slimmer, smaller footprint type wallet, you might think twice on this one, but if that just really doesn't matter to you, then this is a fine wallet. And I would uh, suggest that you pick up any of RX's wallets as an example to look at. I, I think you'll like what you see there. So we appreciate you joining us today. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, bye.